Household debt has always been a cause for great concern for local economists and other leading financial bodies. Today we talk to auditing firm Seminar Storm Securities to find out what the current situation in the country is in this regard and also what effect this has on the country's economy at large. Private sector credit extension currently stands at a growth rate of about 14.3% and the bulk of that is household credit, which is growing at about 15%. Economist Daniel Kavishe stressed concern over this. Because if this appetite continues, they're looking at a period when interest rates start hiking up. Whatever disposable income that um, consumers will have will be used to just sort of make payments. It's not even technically a disposable income because you're paying for so many facets. Conspicuous consumption on credit is one of the greatest contributors to the high household debt in Namibia. What many do not realize though is that the financial status of households in the country does have an impact on the country's economy as a whole. What it leads to, and this is more on a social aspect, it can lead to a lot of unrest because people would want to, will be arguing that what it is they're earning is not growing in relation to what it is they're spending. And, um, and you know, they feel very indebted, they're constantly in debt, and generally, based on what we have observed in other economies, it leads to a lot of labor and civil unrest in the nation, which can be dangerous in the long run. But it's just hard to gauge and say when will it actually be correlated between the two. The most recent financial stability report by Bank of Namibia, according to Kavishe, indicates that the average person in the country spends about 84.7% of their salary paying debts. Franco Ulafir reporting for the News on One.